Hello. In this video, we will explore how to add a customer card or FOB number into our customer's account within the Volante customer database. We'll explore how we can add this number in through both the back office and through the point of sale on the front of house. We often have cards or FOBs in hand that have printed numbers on them that we would like to use. We can find these numbers on RFID FOBs or radio frequency ID FOBs, RFID cards, magnetic stripe cards, barcodes, and sometimes it might be a number from a third party system that we would like to use in the card code field and we'll be entering a number manually. For example, if we'd like to enter card number 123, we may find that number printed on the FOB, printed on the back of an RFID or magnetic stripe card, or it may be a number associated to a barcode. If you've never used cards in the Volante system before, it's very important to talk to your project or account manager to confirm that these cards will be compatible with the readers and with the Volante system. If you have used cards previously and are just adding additional cards into the system and they have been tested as compatible, we can go ahead and start adding those numbers to the system. It is very important we go through this testing process as occasionally the printed number we see on the card may not actually be the number that gets output by the RFID FOB card or MSR card in some cases. Testing these ahead of time will make sure that we don't have any discrepancy in the printed number versus what the output of the device actually is. Let's go ahead and get started now. Once we're ready to add a card number into our customer account, we'll go ahead and access our customer database area from the back office. From here, we can go ahead and take a look for the customer we'd like to add the card information into. I can hit find to display all customers within my system, or I can search by first name or by last name or by any other fields that have been enabled as searchable in your system. I'll go ahead and type in a name to search for and touch on the user I'd like to update. In my user, I can generally see basic information like first name and last name, the kind of accounts that they have associated with their primary and secondary account IDs, or more if you have up to four accounts, as well as account balances. In this case, we'll be updating the customer card code field. So to do this, I'll hit edit at the bottom of my screen, and I'm going to update the card code field. I'll highlight it and backspace out the field in order to enter my new number. For today's example, I'll go ahead and use 56799. I've gone ahead and added my number in, and I'll go ahead and hit Save. Another method of adding this number is if I have an RFID reader that has been configured and connected to my computer. As I'm logged into the back office, I'll go ahead and hit Edit. We'll touch this field and backspace it out again, and I'm going to go ahead and touch my card on an RFID reader to add that card code. As we can see, the number was picked up, and I can hit Save from here as well. This is a similar function to swiping a card on an MSR or scanning a barcode from a barcode scanner. Keep in mind, these hardware devices are often not available on your computer unless you've plugged in USB devices for this purpose. Sometimes adding the card numbers into the customer accounts is more easily done from the front of house point of sale. So in this case, I would normally save my entry, I would hit exit after I've updated all of my customers' numbers, and I would remember to do a data sync, send my updates to terminals, and choose customer database updates and say OK. This will make sure that all of my terminals are updated with the most recent customer information, including that card code update. My terminals will change from pending into success once the updates have been applied on the machines. Next, I'll go ahead and add the card code in through the front of house point of sale. From our front of house terminals, we have several ways that we could potentially access our customer database section in order to update the number on our user. I'll start with going through our regular cashier mode, and in this case, we'll hit cashier, swipe or enter our cashier number, 
and likely somewhere within this screen, you'll have a customer button. Your location may be different from the environment we're showing on screen for demonstration today. I'll go ahead and touch my screen for customer, which will load up a very similar view of the customer database with the same functionalities as the back office. I can choose find to see an entire list of users in my system. I can pick my user from the list. I can also search by the same fields, first name, last name, or any other fields that we might want to make searchable. As we can see on my user, the card code has already been updated to the card used in the last example within the back office. If I'd like to update this field, change the field, or possibly add a new card, maybe someone has lost their card or fob and you're issuing a new one, I can follow a similar process from the point of sale. I'll go ahead and hit the edit button down here at the bottom. And as we can see, I can update my card code field. By touching it, I get the virtual keypad on screen as most terminals are touch screen driven. I could manually enter the number on the card, or I could follow a similar process and either tap the card on an RFID reader, swipe it on a magnetic stripe reader, or scan a barcode if that is the method we're using. I'll go ahead and use a new card, which is 10850 for this field. As we can see, the new number has entered in the system here, and I'll go ahead and hit save. I'll go ahead and hit OK. And now, if I go ahead and scan that card at the point of sale to start a transaction, that card is now associated to that user, and we see that our user has been brought up on screen here, ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and exit from this transaction and go back to my main screen. If you're doing a lot of customer maintenance from your point of sale, you may wanna check in with your account or project manager about adding the customer database to your usable modes right on the front of house. In this case, by touching the customer database, it'll take me straight into my customer database entry. As always, I'll swipe my card as a cashier or enter my number. And here we are back in our customer database again without having to start a new transaction or go into cashier mode. I'll go ahead and do my find. I can see my entire list. I can also search using my virtual keypad. We can see the card number is updated to the new card that I just used. Maybe I'd like to put it back to the other card or enter a brand new card number entirely. Again, same process. We can edit, touch the field we'd like to edit, do the card, and hit save. So now the new card, 56799, will be the card number associated to this particular user. I'll go ahead and hit exit. And if I was to go back to cashier mode again and type the new card with 56799 as the number, that number is putting my customer into my transaction for me. I'll go ahead and remove the customer and just clear out my transaction and return back to my main screen. You can follow the same process for RFID cards, magnetic stripe cards, barcode cards, or if you'd like to do a manual entry. For example, if I'm just entering a manual number from a list of cards I happen to have in hand, but maybe I don't have the cards with me, or I'm working off a spreadsheet of people's door fobs, I can go ahead, find my user again, edit the account, and type in the new number using my virtual keypad on screen, whatever the number happens to be that I'm entering. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel and put it back to the old number. And we'll say okay. As mentioned at the start of the video, if you're integrating new cards or fobs into your system for the very first time, please do reach out to your Volante account manager or project manager to make sure that the cards you'd like to use are compatible with the system and the readers. Often special coding does need to be done to make some of these cards or fobs work with RFID. Please check with your project or account manager if you do have any questions about the process or the type of compatible cards that you could use. If you do have any further questions related to the Volante customer database or are looking for more sources of information, please reach out to training at volantesystems.com and we're more than happy to send you information. Thank you so much for watching today's video.